A fundamental teaching of Catholicism is that of transubstantiation, which supposedly happens during the Lord's Supper, communion, but in their dogma, the Supper turns into something completely different. The Catechism of the Catholic Church describes that the Eucharist enters into a supposed literal transformation from wafer and wine to the actual body and blood of Christ, which is this transubstantiation. Here is a segment from the Catechism on this subject. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 1381 that in this sacrament are the true body of Christ and his true blood is something that cannot be apprehended by the senses, says St. Thomas, but only by faith, which relies on divine authority. For this reason, in a commentary on Luke 22 verse 19, this is my body which is given for you, St. Cyril says, do not doubt whether this is true, but rather receive the words of the Savior in faith, for since he is the truth, he cannot lie. It quotes Luke 22 verse 19, but stops. Here's what the rest of that passage says. Luke 22 verse 19, And he took bread, and gave thanks, and brake it, and gave unto them, saying, this is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. God cannot lie. Neither did he when he had partaken in the Passover with his followers. Other passages of the Lord's Supper, Matthew 26 verses 26 to 29, and Mark 14 verses 22 to 26, make sure to detail Christ saying, But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. At no point does it ever say in the Bible that the bread and drink is ever literally turned into Christ's literal body. The New Testament under Christ is bought and paid for with his blood. We are called to remembrance of that price and how we are to live for our Lord and Savior according to his words.